In this video, I want to help you fix a Samsung Galaxy Tab that gets stuck on the logo. Now, this particular one, I'm, it's not stuck currently, but I'm just keeping that for demonstration purposes. So, if this happens to you, stuck is stuck on the logo, first thing I want you to do is uh, just restart it. And to restart it, you just hold down the power button for five, five to ten seconds. That should restart it. If not, what I want you to do, number two, is do a hard reset while it's stuck. Hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time, simultaneously. If they're up here, the volume down will be on the far left of the two buttons beside each other. You hold them down while it's stuck. That will do a hard reset to where it'll shut down any current apps that may be open. It won't do a factory reset. It'll just it'll just do that. Next thing I want I want you to do is check your power cord, plug it up into the wall, and I want you to let it set while it's on the Samsung logo for an hour, if possible, and see if that will rectify the issue. If not, unplug it while it's on the Samsung logo, restart it on the Samsung logo. And then what I want you to do is let it sit until the battery drains all the way completely out. You know it's completely drained. And then turn it back on and see if it will correct that issue. Next thing what I want you to do is turn it completely off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, Android Recovery. And with Android Recovery, uh, what I want you to do is wipe cache. And so by wiping the cache, which is the short-term memory, it will, um, the short-term memory, it could clear up whatever is going on with your tablet. So make sure it's turned off completely. All right, and so what I want you to do is I want you to hold down the volume up this time and the power button. Volume up, power button at the same time. And don't let go until you see the Samsung logo, then let go of the power button while still holding down to the volume up button. As you can see here, still holding the volume up. And it's gonna take you into this screen here. And basically this is like a BIOS, Android recovery. And you're gonna use the volume up and the volume down button to go down or up. Okay, and then, so let's go to the volume down or volume up and let's go to wipe cash uh, where is it here it is wipe cash partition as you can see it right there and then hit the power button once to enter that in let it do its thing and then it's going to come back up to here to this screen again and then what you want to do is you're going to um, reboot system now so go back up using the volume button to reboot system now and then from there what you want to do is hit the power button and then see if that will fix the issue. Now, if that does not fix the issue, the only thing to do now is to do a full factory reset and that will wipe all your information in there out, out, out of the uh, tablet. You'll make it like it's brand new out of the box. So it won't ruin your tablet. It'll just forget everything that you put in there, pictures, videos, all that stuff. So what I want you to do is do the very same thing as power it completely down and then do, again, do the volume up and then the power at the same time, just like you did to wipe the cache. Get back to this screen. Use your volume up and down to go to, uh, let's see where it is. Factory reset should be up here, which is, uh, da, da, da. Well, where'd it go? There it is. Wipe data factory reset. Right there. Go ahead and push power. Make sure it's plugged in. Hopefully it'll allow you to do it because you're supposed to have 50% power on your battery. And if you can't, that could be a problem. All right. If it does, that's great news. And maybe that will have fixed the issue with it being stuck on the logo. Now, next thing what I want you to do is I want you to um, if you tried everything else, it's not under warranty anymore. 
you're ready to toss it in the trash. That's how much you're done with it. You can do the nuclear option. The nuclear option is actually put it in the freezer, make sure it's powered off completely, and you're gonna keep it in the freezer for about 12, 15 hours. You could do it even over, doesn't matter. Forget about it, who cares? Put it in there for 15 hours. Come back and yes, it'll be cold to the touch. Okay, let it sit at room temperature for about an hour so it's completely warm to room temperature. And then try to power it back on. You can plug it in and see if that will fix the issue. You'll be shocked that a lot of times that will rejuvenize the system and make it work again. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.